be taking a look at MGA's latest release of Shadow High. And I mean the complete collection, including Natasha Zima, a cosmetics chemistry focus, Heather Grayson, a special effects makeup focus, Ash Silverstone, an audio and visual effects focus, Nicole Steele, an installation art focus, Sunny Madison's twin sister, Luna, who is a film focus, and finally, Chanel Onyx, a couture fashion design focus. Now you can see the packaging of the Shadow High line is basically a mirror image of the original Rainbow High packaging. The curve of the packaging is to the right instead of to the left. You can see a comparison with the Rainbow Junior High Sunny Madison box compared to the Shadow High. While Rainbow High has gold accents, Shadow High has silver accents. The packaging does come with that standard plastic handle at the top and an image of the entire crew on the back. At the bottom of the packaging, it says Rainbow High has officially met its match. Expect the unexpected from the fine art students of Shadow High. What's interesting is that all of the dolls that I got except for Luna are packaged for international distribution, meaning the text is in multiple languages. Now, unfortunately, I could not find these dolls in person at a store. I had to order them from Amazon. So I am a little concerned about the quality control when I get them all out of the packaging. The only one I'm seeing immediately that I'm not happy with is Luna and her bangs. I don't like the way they're cut, but everybody else seems okay. So I can't wait to get them out of their packaging and take a closer look. So here they all are out of their packaging. I ended up keeping my original Luna and original Chanel. I actually looked for alternatives for these dolls at several stores. I did see some more Lunas in person. They weren't any better than the one I had in terms of the bangs. Um, and then Chanel, I was convinced her screening, her eye makeup screening was slightly off, but I could not find another doll at any store that looked different than the one I got. And I even ordered one online from Target and it still looked the same, so I returned that doll. But as you can see, they all come with doll stands and a second outfit and a comb. I do like how their combs and doll stands reflect where they are on this grayscale of color. And you can see how the combs are different from the rainbow high combs. The doll stands are also different. If you can see, again, we have this SH versus rainbow, and we've got this kind of studded detail again. And these dolls do not come with hangers, but every single doll is wearing earrings. Or in the case of Ash, he's wearing little earbuds or I guess AirPods. First, let's take a look at Natasha Zima. I wouldn't say her skin tone is pure white. I would say there is a grayish cast to it, um, but it's very, very pale, pale gray. Her hair appears to be just straight up white, and so does her clothing. Her face mold is one that I do not recognize, but I'm really terrible at identifying previously used face molds. The screening that they use the makeup really changes things so much that I have a hard time. However, I've heard some people refer to her as an alien. I get what they're saying, but I still really like it. I like how her eyes are a little further apart. And I love that the only color in this doll is a little blushing on her cheek and a little bit of pale kind of blue green in her eyes. Her hair, honestly, is almost flawless coming out of the package. It's pretty soft. There's only a little bit of product. I really like the texture. Obviously, it's very long. But she really doesn't have box hair. It's really in great shape. I probably won't do anything to her hair. Getting into her outfit and accessories, she has these gorgeous earrings. We've got like a little gemstone, a teardrop pearl, and this beaded S on one side. And of course the other side is an H. Her outfit is this 
cute little cocktail dress. That's what I'm gonna call it. We've got a little gemstone in the center of the bow. There's some silver glitter detail on her dress, as well as feathers along the hem and the neckline. I don't love the execution of the feathers, but I like the attempt. She's also wearing a little silver bangle and her nails are painted white, of course, but as you can see, they are quite long. Her shoes are silver slide-on pumps with some kind of gemstone and silver chain detail. Her second outfit is actually, in my opinion, more stunning. We've got a skirt and a crop top. Look at this pearl detail. This is like a faux leather material. Then we've got some kind of iridescent material here with this quilt stitching. Unfortunately, I have observed in the past that these little applications can fall off quite easily, so you do need to be very gentle with these. And then she's got this gorgeous faux fur coat. And again, we have these kind of trim details. We've seen this before. And a satiny fabric lining. Really gorgeous. And then she has these shimmery, glittery white boots. They are a fabric upper with a plastic sole. And they're pretty gorgeous looking. There is a little bit of yellowing around the toe and I assume that's from adhesive, but I don't know, I could be wrong, uh, but really beautiful. Next we have Heather Grayson. Uh, she has a different face mold from Natasha. Again, her only hint of color seems to be a little bit of blushing and a blue and purple detail in her eyes. She's got some gorgeous kind of slate gray glittery lips. I love her makeup. I love a little bit of glitter detail in her eyebrows. And of course, all these dolls, I didn't point it out, but they all have the rooted eyelashes. And I love how her hair is basically like Harley Quinn two-tone. One side is white with some streaks of some very pale gray. And the other side is basically black with some streaks of like steel gray. Now, she has some cool, interesting details. She's got these silver loops with hair extensions below her ponytails. She also has some hair jewelry, I guess. So pieces of her hair are braided and in the braid she's got little silver loops. We've got a little S charm and a safety pin charm. She's also got these silver earrings that say shadow. But here you can see she has another safety pin, but here we have an H charm. I really love her outfit. We've got a faux leather jacket with patches and the outline of bones. So it says shadow high. We have some lacing detail on the sides and what looks like a spine printed on the back. It's the same shadow high patch on the other arm. Also some faux zipper detail. There's a lot of detail in this faux leather jacket. It's really cute. And she has this strapless dress with an asymmetrical hemline. It's like a faux snakeskin material. A lot of zipper detail, a lot of black trim detail. There is a variant of this doll whose dress has even more detail. I have not seen that doll anywhere in person. She has the long black nails and a silver ring on her thumb as part of her hand sculpt. And then her shoes are kind of basic, except when you turn them around, you can see a little silver snake twisted around the heel and coming up. And that is on both sides. And then inside is a faux silver zipper detail. Her second outfit to me reads kind of goth. Uh, we have three pieces. We have faux snakeskin pants with a split at the ankles. 
Uh, I like the real pocket detail here in the front and the back. And then the top is two pieces. We have a sheer long sleeve snakeskin print top with this little black faux leather kind of bustier situation with little studded detail, buckle details on the strap. Now her shoes, I have like this little factory defect of a little black spot on the shoe, uh, but otherwise they're pretty cool looking. Again, we have this faux snakeskin printing on it. We've got painted lace detail on the back, little strappies around the ankle, very thin stiletto heel, pretty cool looking shoe. Now here we have Nicole Steele, whose skin tone has a much more pronounced gray hue. I love her face mold. Again, she just has a hint of pink blush and her eyes appear to be brown. And her hair appears to be two tones of gray, a lighter and a slightly darker shade. It's in pigtails and it is curled, but it's not like a ton of product. If you wanted to zhuzh up the curls, you could probably just wet the ends. She has some molded light and dark gray baby hairs edged around her hairline. Her eye makeup is really pretty with the white eyeliner. She's got a hint of glitter in the corners and going up around her eyelid. She's wearing these kind of silver bar earrings that say shadow. And her outfit is very sporty. So she's got this kind of faux denim jacket with, I think these are called like peekaboo shoulders. There's a little bit of studded detail here, faux buttons in the front and little faux pocket flaps. It says anti-sparkle, shadow. There is a patch featuring a very angry looking cat on her arm, as well as some other symbols and this kind of check pattern here along the sleeve. I like how it has a really interesting distressed look. Under the jacket, she is wearing this two-piece sporty outfit. It looks like a sports bra that says SH in kind of the Fila style with little straps with the word shadow printed on them and then like little biker shorts with a side stripe that also says shadow. And she is wearing sneakers with a little bit of a wedge heel. I like the stripe detail here. Then they have real laces. And she pairs them with some knee-high socks. Her second outfit includes this really cool kind of track style athletic jacket. It has a lot of detail. It's silver with a faux zipper in the front. We've got striping detail on the sides cuff detail here and then it has a layered look with the sleeve as if she's almost wearing like a hoodie under the jacket and then the jacket is like three-quarter sleeve but it's actually all one piece she has some faux pocket detail in the front with a lot of shadow high 2022 printed on it and velcros in the back there's a large tag and you can see that iridescent shadow print in the inside lining. Then she has this little sleeveless athletic dress, kind of looks like basketball shirt or shorts material. I like the striping detail around the hem and the neckline and the sleeves. It has number 13 on the front, it Velcros in the back, and it comes with these awesome looking, these look like over the knee boots actually, or maybe they're knee high. Um, again, they have a little wedge heel, like the detail around the sole. It says shadow in the back of the heel. And it is a fabric topped boot with a plastic sole and looks like a plastic toe underneath the fabric. Next, we have Ash Silverstone. Again, he has an obvious gray pallor to his skin tone. He does have a different face mold than the other boys released by Rainbow High. He has a distinctive kind of almond shaped eye. I, I actually love this face mold. His hair is flocked on the sides and then, you know, a lot of hair on top. It's kind of a steely gray. He does have what looks like edging cut into the sides of his head. 
He is wearing earbuds or AirPods. I don't really see any blushing on his cheeks. I do see a little bit of a different color on his nose. And his eyes go from kind of aqua blue to green. He's wearing a jacket that actually snaps in the front, which is really cool. It's like a little kind of track jacket material with lots of detail. It says Shadow High, Established 2022, Anti-Sparkle. Shadow High on the back with some characters that I cannot read. His shirt also says Shadow in this really cool 3D triangle print. I love all the details on his jacket and how it's this asymmetrical kind of triangle opening in the front. He's wearing kind of a cargo style track pant. It says shadow on one side and level 99 on the other. He's, he's wearing shoes very similar to a pair of Jade's shoes, except saying, instead of saying rainbow, they say shadow. And he appears to be wearing ankle length black socks with silver stripes. His second outfit is a lot of layered pieces. Uh, first of all, he has this hoodie jacket. It's a real hood. I love the buckle details. They are faux buckles. Um, faux zipper detail, faux pockets in the front. I love the trim. Oh, look. He has little thumb holes in the wrists of his jacket. Faux pockets on the sleeves with this patch that says Eclipse. It's a shadow high in the back. Then he has a t-shirt with an astronaut, Velcro's in the back. Then he has these like athletic shorts with side pockets and a functional drawstring Got a little SH patch on the waistband and they are layered on top of black leggings. These are like fitted leggings with a cutout zipper detail on the knees, plus these sneakers that are more of a high top. Love the painted detail with the laces and they say shadow high around the ankles. Next, we have Luna Madison, who is supposed to be Sunny's twin sister, obviously the opposite, the sun and the moon. They appear to have the same face mold, which of course they should, because they're supposed to be twins. She has lavender looking eyes, a little bit of blush on her cheek, a silvery gray lip, and pretty eye makeup. Her hair is in a similar style to Sunny, but her hair is a silvery gray. Her skin tone obviously is a gray hue. It is quite long, but not great coming out of the packaging. It just looks a little ratty coming out of the box. She just has box hair. It just needs to be kind of washed and fixed up. Also her bangs, like I, there's absolutely no product in the bangs, which is I guess why they're kind of sticking up on the edges. So I kind of want to fix her hair before I do a side-by-side -side comparison with Sunny. Like all the other Shadow High dolls, she has long painted fingernails. Luna is wearing a silver bracelet that says Shadow. It's kind of a cuff bracelet. And on the other wrist, she's wearing a little thin bangle with a tiny little SH in the center. And then she is wearing silver fingerless gloves. Her outfit is giving me a cross between Lady Gaga and Beyonce vibes. To me, it feels like pop star alien-esque. Very shiny faux leather silver with a little bit of studded detail here and there. We have an SH charm in the middle of the bustier with silver ribbon straps, it Velcros in the back. She pairs them with these knee-high gladiator style sandals with heels and some silver socks. Also, she and Sunny have actually the same earrings, except obviously Luna's are a smoky gray gemstone. I actually prefer her second outfit, which is just really a simple black dress with silver details and a little kind of faux stud buttons down the front. I love her jacket. It's kind of a Letterman style jacket, but it is off the shoulder. 
Nicole's jacket also appeared to be kind of off the shoulder. Again, love the faux zipper detail in the front, this belt detail. I love the sleeves that say shadow. And again, it Velcro's in the back and it's like this faux silver leather material. And then she has these simple heels. I like the silver straps that say shadow and look like they have buckles, but it's, it's just molded plastic, but I love those painted details. Finally, we have Chanel Onyx. She has the deepest skin tone. I don't love her eye makeup. I feel like it is not, even though I can't find a doll in person that proves my theory, I just feel like the eye makeup is not placed entirely correctly on her face. Maybe I'm just dreaming, but I just feel like this should be lower, whatever. It's, she's still a pretty doll. I do like the little glitter details in the corners of her eyes her deep, deep, dark lip color. She is still very pretty. I love the streaks of white and gray in her hair. She has a long side ponytail that has a little bit of product in it and a little bit of a kink from the banding in the box. And I'll maybe like hot water wash that just to get that out. But I don't really wanna restyle her hair because I think it looks super cute. She has the sculpted baby hairs in black and white. She appears to have a slight shimmer to her face. I can't tell if there's blushing, but her eyes are kind of a purple to blue color. And her lips do appear to have like a hint of plum to them. I love her earrings and the real fabric bow and little gemstone in her hair. She and Natasha Zima seem very much bookends to each other. She is also wearing a cocktail dress and seem to be the most dressed up. But this dress is gorgeous. I love the layers of fabric in the skirt. I love how it's a gradient from black to white. I love her shadow high belt. It looks like a ribbon with a plastic black buckle of SH and the straps of her dress appear to be a clear plastic. She has long silver nails and a little silver bangle with it looks like clear kind of crystally gemstones on the ends. She's wearing open-toed black heels. They have a bow detail around the ankle and little fuzzies around the toe strap. And she pairs them with some lacy black ankle length socks. Now her second outfit, much like Natasha's, is two pieces. And it also includes a lot of this kind of studded applique in a really pretty pattern across the kind of bustier style top. Her skirt is like a tweed material with a houndstooth pattern with faux leather black trim and a little bit of faux button and stud detail. Natasha's came with a fur coat whereas Chanel's has this really cute crop jacket with Short sleeves, again, we've got these layers of fabric. So cool, I love this little jacket. I can't wait to put her in this outfit. Uh, we got a little faux zipper detail in the front. So it's this awesome combination of like a faux leather jacket with really feminine floofy sleeves. And then the heels have this lovely little gem detail on the toe. Otherwise it's a pretty simple shoe with a little silver buckle detail around the ankle. This is what I mean by being kind of bookends to each other. So much similar detail in their second outfits. And they seem to have a similar style in their first outfit and they're, they're both kind of like evening cocktail dress looks. So here you can see Sunny and Luna side by side. The differences are obvious. Of, besides the fact that one is in full color and one is in grayscale. Their bangs are different. Their hair is slightly styled differently. Sunny's front pieces of hair are way longer than Luna's. Luna's did initially have a curl in it a little bit, uh, but when I washed her hair, the curl kind of went away. I love Luna's second outfit, and I do think it reflects Sunny's outfit with the dress jacket combo. It's interesting that the Rainbow High series now has three sets of twins, and this is the only set that seems to have 
very much individualized personalities. So here's the lineup in their second outfits and I really love this line. I love the grayscale. I think it's really unique. I love their looks, their outfits, of course, very detailed. Do you want to point out a couple of things? Nicole's kind of sneaker boots are actually almost thigh high when you first put them on. They do kind of sag down just a little bit so they look like they're over the knee. Natasha's boots are super glittery and the glitter gets everywhere. I don't think I pointed out that Natasha's dress has bows on the front and the back with gemstones in the center. And this is the kind of level of detail I'm talking about in all of their outfits. But here is a warning regarding Luna's kind of gladiator style sandal heels. There is a clasp in the back to allow for the boots to be more easily removed. However, my one boot was so stuck that when I removed it, it broke. So you wanna be careful with that. All in all, I really like this series a lot. I'm really glad I bought them all. I wasn't going to, and then I got sucked in and got the whole series. What do you think? Let me know by commenting below.